telling you, in Britain, we're doomed. Doomed. In 1988, China had no motorways at all. 30 years later, it has 84,000 miles of them. That's more than any other country in the world. Into their stride, since 2011, They've been building 6,000 miles of motorway every year. 6,000 miles a year! It beggars belief, and it's not like the terrain is easy. Here, though, there ain't no mountain high enough, and there ain't no valley low enough to stop them four miles long. And then there's this one. You could fit the London Shard underneath it twice over. China has actually soared. All this has happened so fast, we haven't yet had time to be astonished. I remind myself in Cambridge at this bridge, which goes across the Charles River. The state of Massachusetts said they were going to renovate this bridge. It would take two years. In 2014, they said it wasn't finished. They said it would take one more year. In 2015, they said it's not finished. Finally, last year, it was finished three times over budget that I drove across last month in Beijing called the Senyan Bridge. In 2015, the Chinese decided they wanted to renovate that bridge. It actually has twice as many lanes of traffic. How long did it take for them to complete the project? 2015. What do you bet? The answer is 43 hours. Now, of course, that couldn't happen in New York. ...of high-speed rail lines uh, around uh, the country is a uh, queue of people trying to get on them. There's no empty seats, such as a demand. There's twice as much high-speed rail track in China already uh, than there is across the whole of Europe. That's quite amazing. The investment in infrastructure, we've heard about roadways, which have doubled in size over the last five uh, to six years. It's in growth of airports, which have also increased in size. And just take ports for a moment, because here's a very instructive. Of the ten busiest ports in the world, how many do you think are in China? Seven. How many do you think? None. 跨海大桥